So there was a car next to me that like almost ran a red light and they like screeched to a halt right in the middle of the intersection instead of just like finishing running the red light and they stayed there until the light turned green and people going the other way like had to drive around them. And then next to me in the left hand turning lane, um, it was red for all of us and then the arrow for the left hand turning lane turned green and as soon as it turned green, the lady in the lane next to me who was going straight decided to just drive straight through it. And then I got honked at because I wasn't turning right in a crossing guard section where there was crossing guards like leading kids across the road and it's just like are you kidding me people like drive less like idiots and our insurance could be a little bit cheaper around here that's my morning commute so far and i've only made it 3.9 miles down the road and i've got 26 more to go awesome right anyway happy valentine's day i know it's been a few days since i've made it into any kind of vlogging um it hasn't really been worth it for me to vlog anything anyway it's like you're not missing out on much I uh, um, have been working these 5 a.m. shifts, which means I get up at 3 o'clock in the morning and then I get home and I'm so tired and it's like I want to lay down and take a nap and I like have fitful sleep for like the entire rest of the day and it's just like completely wasted. And then when I do get up, I'm like a zombie because I'm like staying up pretty much all night long and then working till 1.30 in the afternoon and then, you know, I get home and between like 3 and 7, I'm trying to get some rest and it's just, I don't know, it's been, it's been crazy. I did do a filmed, um, a Coke challenge, like a cola challenge to see if all of the soda experts that live in my house could figure out like which brand was which and which was sugar free, which was like, um, caffeine free and everything. And it was actually pretty funny because the sodas that they thought they were their favorites, they didn't rank that high. Um, like I think Pepsi or Coke was the one that got ranked the lowest. Um, it was really funny and it was really cool, but unfortunately I'm not going to post that video because there was a lot of just like mistakes in it. I didn't like show the camera like what each one was as they were doing it and ranking them and testing them and they didn't like say enough out loud. I don't know. It was a lot of fun to do but I learned a lot of things about like how I could improve the videos and I wanted to do like a ticker tape along the bottom of the film but I couldn't figure out how to insert text onto the screen using the software that I use. I could only figure out how to get it like in between shots and I don't want to do that so I still need to like find some more tutorials to learn how to do like a ticker tape along the bottom so I can like say things over the screen. I use Vegas Pro um, as we got it for like a really sweet deal in a humble bundle. So I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, I have to work today, I gotta work tomorrow, but I do have a four day weekend coming up because it is our anniversary and we're gonna try to do some fun stuff for that. I have a, um, I have another interview tomorrow morning because, you know, I am trying to find a job much closer to home. So far, I've gone on a few interviews, but I haven't had any any luck, but I'm going to keep trying um, and see what happens. I'm going to keep trying. I would like to work closer to home because um, this commute down Colonial and then I-4 is killing me. And there is a toll road that's a lot faster and easier but it's literally like 10 bucks round trip and I just, I can't justify spending 50, I can't afford $50 a week in tolls. So I have to take the non-toll road and the traffic is horrendous and if I don't leave two and a half hours before I'm supposed to be at work, I'm late and today's gonna be one of those days because it's 9.22, I still have 26 miles to go. I left about almost a half an hour ago and I've literally only gone four miles and that's, so I have to be at work at 1045 and I'm gonna be late. Like, I should have left a long time ago. Like the person behind me that's like coming up on the side, they're driving on the grass. To, it's like, <laughs> see, people are crazy. It's like they're dri they drove on the grass to get up into a turning lane that's red anyway. Well, now it just turned green, but whatever. People are nuts. People are nuts. Anyway, sorry for the last few days without vlogging i did try really hard to post that like taste test challenge thing we are going to do a vegemite versus marmite video i think that'll be a lot of fun but yeah so like i said i still have some good ideas i'm finally done working that crazy 5 a.m shift like hopefully i won't get scheduled for it again because i don't want to do it anymore 
Um, it was nice being off early in the day, but I was just too dang tired to like care about anything because it felt like I'd just been up all night. And in some cases, I really was because, as you know, I have to pick up my husband from work at 11 o'clock at night. So if you got to be up for three o'clock, there's just no way you're going to get a decent night's sleep. It's just not possible. And I was trying to take naps before, but it was like fitful and I, I don't know. It just never felt like I was getting enough sleep. I was just always really, really, really tired. Um, if I didn't have to pick up Courtney, like, it would be different. I could go to bed at 9 or 10 and get up at 5, 3 in the morning and 5 or 6 hours of sleep would be sufficient for me to still want to go out and do other things during the day, but it just wasn't happening. <sighs> anyway, that was a long tirade. Traffic sucks. Happy Valentine's Day. I will talk to you guys later, probably. Just say something. Happy Valentine's Day. Yay. So one of the boys had to write a poem for uh, his English class today. Was it English? Yeah. Okay. So for English class today, and they had to use like candy names in the poem. And oh, it's Valentine's Day. So I want to share the poem that he wrote. And I'm not going to say which one it was who wrote it because he's a little embarrassed, even though he shouldn't be because it's really cute. Shut up, let me read it. I, I just, I'm, I'm gonna read the poem because I like it and it's Valentine's Day and it's been kind of a sad day over near here so I wanna like, I wanna say this poem. Okay, so it says, My sweetheart, my sweetheart, oh how you make me snickers. Hershey's has nothing on you. I have a sour patch heart made sweeter by you. You are the strawberry for my shortcake, always incomplete without you. Even the Milky Way isn't as beautiful as you. You are a silly gummy worm that wormed your way in. Oh, my precious sweetheart, I love you too. <laughs> I thought it was adorable. I think it's so Aww. cute that he just wrote that in a really short little Aww, <laughs> English daddy. class. I love it. I love it. It's so cute. So that's the Valentine's Day poem for all of you. All of you out there. So today's country that I'm saying goodbye in, the language that I'm saying goodbye is from Bosnia, Herzegovina, Bosnia, Bosnia. The three official languages of Bosnia are Bosnian, Croatian, and Serbian. From what I could tell, the goodbye in Croatian, or sorry, the goodbye in Serbian and Bosnian looks different on paper, but they sounded exactly the same. And the other one in Serbian was, I mean, Croatian was completely different. So I'm gonna go ahead and say both of them and I'm gonna butcher them both, but. So goodbye in Bosnian and Serbian is Spogon. And I like the goodbye in Croatian better. It's Dovidenia. 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 Ah!